Pierce Morgan is known for never being afraid of saying what everyone else is afraid to. Watch as Pierce Morgan rips apart woke culture while also getting woke people outraged. It's not difficult, is it, Angelica? I mean, that is what a woman is. I mean, I don't know why you're obsessed with defining it. Like, what, what is a man? Like, why do we need these arbitrary... A man is a male adult human. I mean, that's it. But they're just facts. They're not, they're not arbitrable points, are they? Well, but you, I think we have a right to self-identify. And you said as you what? want to... As you, what? Well, if you'd on. like to be a woman, you can identify as a woman. I don't know why there is such an issue around... Uh... One of the key areas where Piers Morgan's views clash with woke Hollywood is gender identity. Pierce Morgan does not agree with the notion that your gender can change whenever you feel like it. That only leads to disaster and a confused society. Listen to how criminals use wokeism to harm others. We've literally just seen a male rapist use that scam to get himself put into a female prison where he could attack vulnerable women inside a female prison. Which is a terrible, very distressing, isolated incident. And I think it's easy to take that and say, that means that no, no, no one can identify as a woman. And but that's, it's not an that's isolated not fair. incident, though. 42% it's it's of, of trans identifying prisoners in prison are in there for sex crimes. There's actually an advantage, evidently, to identifying as a female because they never identify as male. She dismissed the plight of women in prison just so that she can be right. No room for empathy for social justice that they claim. Pierce Morgan knows that wokeism is not for the social justice causes. Listen to what he asks her. I, I Why can't I, on International Women's Day, say I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, no. status... No, no, I think, where with respect, I think that you would already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless, you can do what you like. Anyone can say, I'm a woman. You see, she also knows that you cannot just change your gender. Woke culture is all about sinister motives of controlling people and censorship. Woke rules change by the second, according to what the woke person approves to be convenient for them at that time. Woke people say that there are over 100 genders, and they will try to cancel anyone who questions that narrative. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Angelica. How many genders are there? Two. There are two genders? Well... Wow, so you don't believe in transgenders at all? There are two genders? Well, it's taught in... Well, you say, well, you've literally just launched this huge defence of transgenderism. Now you've eradicated it. Male and female, there's, right? There's gender fluidity. I, I will... Fluid between what? Between what? Between different identities. I cannot imagine the number of apologies she made to woke people after that. But you see, it is a simple fact that even woke people agree with, at least when they're outside their woke circles. But pushing this agenda to children in school is what Pierce Morgan cannot tolerate. How many kids do you know, young girls in particular, who are, are tomboys? But it's, if the wrong person gets hold of them and persuades them, actually, what you should start doing is mutilating your body and have a full attempt to become a boy, that's not what most tomboys end up wanting. They end up actually going through puberty, getting older, and then that's it. They become women. Yes, there are many girls who grow up playing with boys, whether it's brothers or just friends. But when they get to puberty, they abandon all boyish behaviors and start being girly and only do things that girls do. Children just want to be children, and they should be left to grow up without being forced with sexuality. Absolutely this dumb, kind of up to here with the victim culture that we now have to endure. Weakness is celebrated. I think there's a difference strength between is being a, a victim Strength being is vulnerable. a problem. Right? Everyone has to emote 24-7. You, you come into ask... work. <laughs> you see, woke culture has now created a norm for people who want cheap and easy attention. To just be victims, even if it is fake. Just make a video crying about something that everyone goes through and the whole woke brigade will shower you with attention and hashtags. I identify as woke by the original definition, which came from the American music business in the 60s, and it was about raising awareness of social and racial injustice. The term woke used to represent being aware of social injustices that truly needed attention by society. But today, it's about agendas that do not help but annoy. And Pierce Morgan does not hide his frustration with how annoying woke people get. Woke people for that. Because a lot of them, I think, are actually worthy of condemnation for propagating the nonsensical views they have and then expecting all of us to agree with but it. But you have actually used the word woke about me as a slur. You've called me a wokey yes, or whatever. Yes, you a wokey. The backbone of woke culture is forcing of ideas. In his view, woke activists aren't content with sharing their beliefs. They only want to impose them on everyone else. Listen to how the woke people got triggered for being called wokies. 
why don't you stop using the word because woke you know as why? a pejorative because, you know why? And, and say that what you are saying you know is ridiculous why, or what because, you're saying is nonsense? Because it really annoys the wokies. Yeah. And I call them wokies. I don't wokies. think we're annoying. Uh, you know what woke happens people is... make the world a worse place. They, they make it a joyless, ridiculous. humorless, Offended. fascist state. Joy just escaped their faces after hearing that they make the world a worse place. How else will people perceive them if they only attack, cancel, and ruin people's careers? And now, corporations are pushing woke ideas that have nothing to do with the products they sell. We, we've seen this time and again now. We saw it with Gillette. Do you remember the Gillette campaign? Where they suddenly went from saluting you know, masculinity yeah. and men to saying that all men are evil predators until they can prove otherwise. And what happened? Nine billion off the bottom But how line. much of that? These companies just decided to employ only woke people in their marketing departments. Now we have authoritative woke people commanding us what to believe just for buying a cookie or a beer. Makes you wonder how any of those executives expected to change biology and double their profits at the same time. Companies lost interest in simply selling things and decided it was their duty to change the way that you and I think. And suddenly the people who sell you fizzy drinks and credit cards were also telling you that Black Lives Matter, that Pride Month is more important than Christmas. You're personally to blame for climate change because of your filthy carbon footprint and so on and so on. I mean, just because I like one or two of your company's products does not mean I will change my religion for whatever you decide for me. Most people don't even care who the CEO of a company is, let alone what they believe in, so as to change their whole belief system about life to what the company approves. Bud Light must be wishing they'd stuck to selling beer, the drink of choice for millions of sports-loving working-class Americans, teamed up with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney, who was a man until last year and now spends most of her time mocking women. Um, America's favorite beer company decided that, that she would be the perfect person to sell their beer and absolutely tanked their business because most of their consumers went, what are you doing? Well, that debacle has cost them $27 billion so far. They're getting the message clearly. Just sell me the product and don't tell me any woke stuff. But is making losses enough for them to stop with the way woke people are blind to reality? It's corporate suicide. Or maybe it's Maybelline. The popular lipstick merchant last week decided to tell women they should aspire to be big bald men with beards when they buy their lipstick. Why would you think that would work? Why is no one in your offices like me going, what are you doing, you idiots? It's mind boggling. Many people watched that and approved it for marketing. Since when did women ever look at bearded men applying makeup and decide that that is the makeup they need for their skin tone? And it is not just the products at the mall. Entertainment companies are prioritizing wokeness over profits. This week we discovered that Disney has abolished its Seven Dwarves in a live action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The dwarves have been replaced by seven magical creatures of varying shapes, sizes, ethnicities, and genders. Actually, what that means is one dwarf actor is still in that. So six dwarf actors lost work in a Hollywood blockbuster because of wokery. What about inclusion and equal opportunity for the dwarfs who were supposed to be the dwarfs in a dwarf script? Maybe they will now be called something like small people because dwarf is offensive to some tall woke person. I think I'm sort of around the center somewhere really, maybe slightly to the left. Although over the years, the left have got so nuts. I find myself sliding maybe slightly to the right, maybe, because the left has lost its mind. This woke stuff is insane and everyone's getting sick and tired of it. I just want to buy an ice cream love ice cream, without dismantling the patriarchy, whatever that is. Pierce sees their hypocrisy as a key reason why many people are growing tired of woke culture. We live in an age where everyone wants to be a victim, where being offended is a currency. This isn't helping anyone. It's encouraging people to dwell in grievance rather than empowering them to take control of their lives. Uh, but if we were doing the same thing to them, they'd all go nuts, right, wouldn't you? You'd go nuts if I came running into your little vegan hell holes and began screaming abuse. You'd all throw your toys out the pram, as you do on a daily basis. The belief that eating meat is bad for the environment. They do not just avoid meat. They go to restaurants and disrupt people eating their hard-earned meals, just to show how much they hate meat. Oof, you've got me another one. Fan Take it off your bingo. Fantastic. Take it Lovely. off your bingo, sir. <laughs> but where's the salt? Where's, where's it? Won't eat any of this gruel. Let's put that to one side, but... You didn't salt it, though. You see, all you've achieved is you've made me want to do this. Just that's, eat that's a lovely... That's absolutely fine. Mm.